Iku mau mau. Iku ah. Iku mau mau. Iku hulu hulu. Ika la novau. Iku ah. Iku la novau. Iku ah. Iku ah. Iku ah. Iku ah. Iku ah. Mau mau kau hulu. Eh ki eh ku ya. Iku mau mau. Iku ah. Iku mau mau. Iku hulu hulu. Ika la novau. Iku ah. Iku la novau. Iku ah. Iku ah. Hi, may I please ask? I know who you are, but just in case some other people that are tuning in right now, uh, can you please explain this ongoing heva that you're sending up again? Yes, uh, I'm Kanohi Kali Kini. We're here again. This is uh, we've been doing this for a month now. We're at Kauai Ha'o, and we're protesting again on the on the sidewalk uh, of King and Punchbowl Streets. Um, it's service time right now. Service starts at 9 o'clock. We're right before 9. And uh, we've been here for about like 15, 20 minutes now. And as you see it on the sign behind me, says says, Ekomo Mai. Um, that means like, welcome, everybody. But two weeks ago, Aloha! Two weeks ago, Kabuela Kalai and and myself were arrested for walking onto the property. Um, we weren't welcome. They said we were trespassing. Okay, so now we're not going, we're not allowed to go into the property until we work this thing out. And just uh, a couple of minutes ago, I look in there and I see, I see this boy Haole walking on the premises, walking right through the church property with his Elio, with his dog that was taking the crap all the way through. And the officers there failed to do anything about it. So you get you get Koi Haoli, not Kanakamaoli, are allowed to walk on this church premises that was built on the backs of Kanakamaoli, Kanaka Oibi was was built on their backs and our own people are not allowed on the premises, but non Kanako Ivi, Koi Haole are allowed to walk on this premises with their dogs, no less, that take a crap and Mimi all the way through and they do nothing. They're, they're, they are more welcome than our own people onto these premises. Hava, that is Hava. I mean, they're allowing this Koi Haole dog to crap on the Aina crapping on the on the aina of our kupuna. Wait, what they literally crapping on their graves. Amazing. Wow. So this is one confused I, I, I don't even want to call it a church. It, it's an organization. And it really makes me kind of wonder because here Queen Ili Okalani, they brought the Bible over here. And she brought it back to him, and it fell on deaf ears. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, like they, like they said, uh, uh, they claim that Kawikeaoli gave them this property to build their church and to preach the word of God. Yes, maybe he did do that. Who's to say that he signed it? You know, none of us was there to see that he was the one that signed it. And I wouldn't trust that. Trust them. But I'm quite sure he wouldn't like his easy component to be dug exactly. up and dis desecrated. Right, and he didn't feel because they sold, they were so-called Christians, he didn't feel it was necessary to reiterate that in his deed. You know, he felt they were going to, he thought, well, he thought they, they would were do the do right the thing, thing, the final thing, because they came in the word of their God. You know, I'm sure I would have told them, don't trust them. <laughs> You know, I, I question the validity of the deed itself, you know. Did was is that his signature? You know? Did uh -huh. he did he write that? We know exactly what happened you know? during that turnabout. Yes. How many you know? lands all of a sudden they send it up in people's yes. pockets? I question the validity of that deed. You know, because that, that's about the time they were going around and stealing everything. Most of all the Aina. You know? and, and you know what gets me, what really disturbs me about this church now is when I look at this uh, stone church, like they call it, and they have this plaque on the, on the side of the 
church, uh, which which detailed how um, the Kanako Ivi they dove into the ocean like 20 to 30 feet to chip the royal the, to chip the coral and bought it and they didn't have uh, tanks now but they, they free dive free dive 20 to 30 feet chip this white coral bring it up haul it to this site and built this church this uh, this building I don't even want to call it a church but uh, they put this building together for these so-called Christians and what this is how they get repaid this is how they repay them and their families by desecrating their graves that is heaven that is heaven I think like I could I could stomach this better if they would start digging on the other side of the church where all the missionaries are, where the cooks are, the Thurston's, the Greens. If they would start there, I could maybe stomach it better, okay? I wouldn't help them dig, but I, I, feel, I feel better. If they go start digging up the missionaries first. But to me, I see this like, because they wanna continuously, they, they are desecrating the, the burial sites of, of Kanako Ivi. For me, I think that, that that is genocide. That is that's their way of getting getting rid of the the Ivi of our people. But then eventually they can say like, well, you guys claim to be the people of the land, the Ivi of the land, but where's you guys Ivi to prove it? Because these these Ivi kupuna right there, that's our proof that they've been here thousands of years, okay? And once they get rid of our EV, we won't have any, we won't have that proof. And to me, that is genocide. They're trying to wipe out our nation, our people. So the main objective is, is to at least get them back on the table to cook up, cook up, right? Well, we don't want to get them back because we haven't been there yet. So yeah, we want to get them to Ho'oponopono. Okay. You know, Ho'oponopono. They want, they continue to call for litigation, but we don't want litigation. That's a legal process that, you know, that'll all, that'll go all one way. We don't want that. You know, we, we continue to, to call for Ho'oponopono, and we're hoping the Office of Hawaiian Affairs can assist with that. Besides supporting the money to desecrate, right? Yes. Like $1.5 million? Yes. So, you know, we, we feel it's, well, they can help out there, even if they don't feel uh, the money is the issue. Okay, I, you know, I can go for that, but still, I, I feel as the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, this is one of their kuleana, to call these people to the table on our behalf, on behalf of the beneficiaries. You know, it's, it's I feel it's their kuleana, and, um, you know, I'm hoping they, they are taking this seriously, and uh, let's speed it up. You know, don't sit on it. But we, we are, um, we pledge to be here every Sunday as long as we need to. From 8.30 to? From 8.30 to about 10.15, 10.30, because uh, the service is from 9 to 10. Mahalo. Is there anybody like to get in touch with you uh, to do it to me? Right. Do, it, do it to you, um, Pono, or my email address is pkalekini at hawaii.rr.com. Kill them when you hear me roar, Babylon come to me now no more. Kill them when you hear me sing, fire up the blood, purify everything, yes. Kill them when you hear me roar, Babylon come to me now no more. Kill them when you hear me sing, fire up the blood, purify everything, yes. Work up for the man, I'm giving it all I can, my pride is what keeps me going, but there's one thing I got them, the American dream. What is that? Land of the home and free. What is that? We work hard for the man. I'm giving it all I can. My pride is what keeps me going. But there's one thing I can send the American dream. What is that? The land of the home and free. What is that? i
country, I give you this, I give you that, and then they snatch it right back. Uh, I want some wine too, I want some fish too, I want some. Hey, shut the noise, get back to the Make the summer, blood of a dynasty, heart of a chief. Warriors who rumble and storm and beneath my feet with the pain of my warriors and my blood as it creeps. Flexing because we pump, cause we put in the sleep. Yes, blood of a dynasty, heart of a chief. Warriors who rumble and storm and beneath my feet with the pain of my warriors and my blood as it creeps. Flexing because we pumped as we put in the sleep. Yes. Kill them when you hear me roar. Babylon come to me, there are no more. Kill them when you hear me sing. Fire up the blood, purify everything. Yes. Kill them when you hear me roar. Babylon come to me, there are no more. Kill them when you hear me sing. Fire up the blood, purify every everybody. Rise up and give a call. But does it have to be so difficult? Drawing bad cards Everybody rise up and give a call Why does it have to be so difficult? Everybody wondering why this thing is so hard Get it off your chest and stop drawing bad cards Yes, nah Kill them when you hear me roar Babylon 